Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a version of this. Now these two projects, you can see they've got the same size base, they've got the same size front, but they are t one is taller than the other. Now both of them use exactly the same size paper to start with, and I'm going to make a third version, the one that fits in between in height in terms of height, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you need a piece of paper that is eight by uh, sorry, eight and a half by four inches or 21 and a half by 10 centimeters. And this is the stargazing paper. I only bought the paper from um, that particular suite. I love it. So all three start with this, with the same size piece of paper. On, oh, I put my scoring tool away. And you can get three from a sheet of paper because they're four inches wide, four, eight, 12. That's how you're gonna get it. On the long side for all of them, score it two, four, six and eight inches. In metric, score it at five, 10, 15 and 20. Now, on the short side is where we make the difference. If you want a short box like this one, you score it at two inches. If you want a tall box, and this is the tallest you would be able to make, um, score it, well, yeah, pretty much. You score it at one and a quarter inches to get the taller version. I'm going to do one in the middle of the two at uh, one and five eighths of an inch. Now in metric, if you want the short one, you score at five centimetres. If you want the tall one, you score at three centimetres. This one that I'm making, you would score at four. And all the difference is this one, the base, Please focus on me, there we go. The base, all four bits of cardstock lay completely over one another. This one, and you can't, I don't know how well you can see it. That's where the join is, or that's where the cut, the paper lays over itself. Can you see there? So you're not gonna get much smaller than that. This one we're gonna have, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, so we're gonna get a shorter box. And like I say, the footprint of them is the same, uh, two by two inches or five by five centimetres, but just the height is different. Um, and like I say, all three sizes, same size paper to start with. Right. Are these good ones? These are good ones. Okay, so on this thin skin, skinny little bit, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit off the top and then remove the whole of that bottom. Get rid of all of that, take it away, and then just cut straight up the other three. And then I'm gonna get some tear and tape for on here. My chair is so squeaky. I swapped it to the chair on the other side of the office the other week. And apparently I've made this one squeak now. Yeah, Ikea's finest. Right, so I've sealed up the sides of my box. So I'm going to put two sides in, and I'm going to put some tape there and there. And on here. So peel off the backing, and you can see it, it's just that little bit shorter. Why does my camera take forever to focus? So it doesn't quite meet up. Um, this one goes all the way across. This one goes as far as and around. There. So it's just that little bit different. And so that's why you get the difference in height. Right, so that's the front. And you just push your fingers in either side and gently, and be gentle with it because you don't want to get creasing. Just use your fingers, tips of your fingers, fingernails to get it into those corners. And then you can squish it and you get the nice triangular shape. And they get, oh, dropsy today. Squeaky chair, dropsy. Got a, um, a binder clip, clip it closed. And that, is my third size and height. Let me just pop that out at the back. So I'm gonna, I don't know how to do this so that you can see the height difference. 
So those are the three sizes. Let me get some white, scrappy white cardstock and you can probably see the sizes a little bit better. So there we go. Just a little bit of difference. They're cute though, aren't they? Right, let's quickly finish these off then with a tiny, tiny little bit of stamping. And actually, I, I attach these differently. This tag here, I attached it through um, the binder clip, through the hole there, but it, it flopped around and I didn't like it. So this one, I just stuck it straight on. I have got, I had got, and I don't know where it is anymore, a little half inch scrap of paper. And apparently I'm gonna get another half inch scrap of paper. Um, Try that again. Half inch scrap of paper and of all things pansy patch to get the thank you. I liked that. I love this stamp set. Oh, I haven't used it in forever but I like the font and I just wanted a little tag um, rather than anything sort of massive. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to take, oh, no I don't want Orchid Oasis, I would like Starry Sky. <laughs> And, oh, I need to punch first. So this is the triple banner punch, I think. And I've gone in the middle of this, this one here to get my flag tail. Stamp my thank you. Whoopsie. And then just with a pair of scissors, snip off the end. And I think I put my ribbon away. Did I? I did. This is actually Orchid Oasis. Um, I prefer the blue of this, but I appear to not have any. Stuff. Have I got any Starry Sky? I do. It's just a. I don't like the blue as much of Starry Sky. I actually prefer this one. Where's the end? There we go. So I'm going to tie a bow and stick it on afterwards. A faux bow, I think. with rather two long tails but that's okay. Take a mini glue dot. Pop it on there and then a dimensional. There's one for the back. And pop it on the front. And that's my little trio of descending or ascending sized boxes that are very sweet. Nice little treat boxes. This would, you would put, you know, you'd get a few little sweeties in there or maybe a small piece of jewellery. Um, you're going to get bigger and more treats inside the other ones. But I like it. I like the fact that I can use one piece of cardstock and 99.9% .9 of the same measurements, just make little adjustments. So anyway, I hope you like them too. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Bye.